The cytoskeleton is another group of organelles found only in eukaryotic organisms. They provide structure and support for the cell. They also are functional in terms of transporting vesicles, helping to divide the cell, and they're important for muscle contractions. Now, they're composed mainly of two different kinds of protein chains called microtubules, as you can see here in this picture in green, and actin filaments in red. The nucleus here is in blue. Notice how the microtubules are more centrally located and larger than the thinner actin filaments, which are more associated with the cell membrane. Microtubules are hollow cylinders of protein. So you can see here that all of the individual peptides that make up the microtubules are folded into this helical structure, so hollow in the center and rounded like a cylinder. They are collectively like cellular scaffolding, so the structural role that they provide are like the beams of a skyscraper. They form this elaborate network that props up eukaryotic cells, helps support them. And in that functional role, they are sort of like highways for vesicle movements and chromosomes during division. So for instance, in nuclear division, both mitosis and meiosis, chromosomes separate in preparation for cell division. And they do so by riding along these microtubule tracks. So you can see the microtubules here in green. And when we split chromosomes, they will follow along these microtubule tracks being pulled by various proteins apart from each other. Actin filaments are uh, ubiquitous in eukaryotic cells. Uh, they are everywhere uh, in all organisms, and they are much thinner than microtubules. These are just two strands of protein that twist around each other. Now, they are, there are lots of uses for actin. However, they are mostly associated with support of the cell membrane. Um, the fine extensions called microvilli that we talked about briefly as supporting or reaching out from intestinal cells, those fine microvilli are supported by actin filaments as well. Here in this picture you can see how they are closely associated with the cell membranes, right up against those cell membranes. They're also very important in muscle contractions as we'll see a little bit later. Actin filaments are pulled together to contract a muscle cell. Okay, motor proteins are the final group associated with the cytoskeleton, and they interact with the cytoskeleton to perform movements of various types. For instance, these motor proteins you see here walk along microtubules to pull vesicles along. So those vesicles that are carrying materials through the cell aren't just floating along through the cytoplasm, they're actually being walked along by these motor proteins, as you can see in the little animation below. Those motor proteins actually interact with the cytoskeleton to pull those vesicles from one location to another. And again with muscle contractions, as I mentioned earlier, you can see here the motor protein myosin is going to pull against an actin filament, a component of the cytoskeleton, as part of a muscle contraction. Now that happens collectively with thousands and thousands of these myosin and actin interactions within one cell to shorten a muscle cell.